Parkinson's disease is the second most frequent deteriorating disorder of the central nervous system after Alzheimer's disease. It's estimated that 1% of individuals over the age of 65 are diagnosed with this disorder and the numbers are increasing. Parkinson's impacts a part of the basal ganglia called the substantia nigra. The basal ganglia are a band of brain formations that utilize dopamine as their primary neurotransmitter. Neuronal reduction in these regions is correlated with brain cell inflammation and the development of cross-linked proteins called Lewy bodies in the surviving nerve cells. Lewy bodies are protein aggregates that shape and block typical cellular activity. As a result, features of Parkinson's include movement-associated disorders such as shaking, rigidity, difficulty walking and slowness of movement. As the disease advances, it leads to cognitive and behavioural problems such as dementia, insomnia and irritability. However, if you have a Parkinson's diagnosis, don't despair. The field of epigenetics, which was a direct result of the work carried out at the Human Genome Project, has shown us that damaged genes can be fixed and there is emerging scientific evidence as well as new and overlooked research coming out from all over the world that shows Parkinson's can be effectively treated and fully reversed. The successful application of an effective Parkinson's protocol incorporates empirical science about the root cause of disease with a logical understanding of how Parkinson's affects the body. In other words, getting to the root cause of the problem as opposed to treating the symptoms. In today's video, Nature Crazy goes over its top five science-based protocols for reversing Parkinson's naturally. One, consider supplementing with lithium orotate daily. Lithium, the long-standing hallmark treatment for bipolar disorder, has recently been identified as a potential neuroprotective agent in neurodegenerative diseases, and numerous in vitro and in vivo studies have shown lithium treatment to work by modulating several homeostatic mechanisms involved in neurotrophic response, autophagy, stress, mitochondrial function, and inflammation. Additionally, it inhibits glycogen synthase kinase 3 beta, GSK3b, and inositol monophosphatase. This may sound complex, and it certainly is, but in layman terms, this simply means that lithium orotate can help halt the progression of certain neurodegenerative diseases, such as Parkinson's, by cleaning up misformed proteins that aren't supposed to be in the brain. This process is known as autophagy. Again, we recommend 10 milligrams of lithium orotate a day from a high quality brand. Two, consider supplementing with krill oil or some other good source of omega-3 fatty acids because a study carried out by Université Laval found omega-3 fatty acids protect your brain against Parkinson's disease. The research findings show that omega-3 fats in your diet may protect your brain cells. It works by preventing the misfolding of a protein resulting from a gene mutation in neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's. A deduction to be gained from this finding is that a brain containing a lack of omega-3 fatty acids and an excessive amount of omega-6 fatty acids may contribute to creating an environment that encourages the development of Parkinson's disease. Omega-6 fatty acids are already under suspicion for their role in the body's inflammatory response and it's not coincidental that the typical Western diet contains almost 20 times more omega-6s than omega-3s. In other words, DHA deficiency is a risk factor for developing Parkinson's disease and many would benefit from utilizing omega-3's potential for preventing and treating this disease. We recommend taking krill oil twice a day which is an excellent choice for getting the right amount of omega-3 in the diet. Three, consider supplementing with iodine, since iodine is crucial for working nerves, normal dopamine production, and the removal of heavy metals from the brain. Iodine ought to be particularly concentrated in the substantia nigra. However, in Parkinson's patients, it is not. Correcting this and bringing iodine levels back up to where they should be many times will provide great improvement to those suffering from Parkinson's. Also, it's important since long-term iodine deficiency seems to be linked. Here's a study to irregularities in the dopaminergic system that include a greater amount of dopamine receptors. It's argued that this raises susceptivity to dopamine oxidation, which can cause a shortage of the antioxidant enzymes superoxide dismutase, glutathione, peroxidase and catalase 
We recommend a quality brand daily. Four, consider supplementing with coenzyme Q10. While COQ10 has been successfully tested in clinical trials for other neurological disorders, such as Huntington's disease, it's gained more traction in regards to Parkinson's as researchers from Japan's Jutendo University School of Medicine, it's argued that this raises susceptibility to dopamine oxidation, which can cause a shortage of the antioxidant enzymes superoxide dismutase, glutathione, peroxidase and catalase. We recommend a quality brand daily. 4. Consider supplementing with coenzyme Q10. While COQ10 has been successfully tested in clinical trials for other neurological disorders, such as Huntington's disease, it's gained more traction in regards to Parkinson's as researchers from Japan's Jutendo University School of Medicine have discovered that one particular form of coenzyme Q10, COQ10, can significantly reduce the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Because evidence suggests that mitochondrial dysfunction and oxygen-free radicals play a role in the pathogenesis of Parkinson's, it makes sense that the dual function of the coenzyme Q10 as a potent antioxidant and as a component of the mitochondrial electron transport chain would be helpful in slowing the progression of Parkinson's disease. We recommend a quality brand daily. 5. Supplementing with a heavy metal detoxifier like humifolvate on an ongoing, regular basis will be very helpful in your recovery because mercury and other heavy metals actually play a large part in a bountiful amount of neurodegenerative diseases and Parkinson's is no exception. A new study from India has linked significant increased blood levels of heavy metals with Parkinson's disease. So a regular detox routine to keep heavy metals low in our bodies is an excellent way to stop and reverse these disorders and diseases. We recommend Immune Boost 77, which is a great way to detoxify the body. These are our top five tips for reversing Parkinson's and taking back control of your health. We hope that you found the answers you were looking for and realize that Parkinson's is not a death sentence. We also encourage you to check out the additional links at the bottom of the page. If you want updates on cutting edge hair, skin and health tips, just subscribe to this video below and check out our website at naturecrazy.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.